This video is very helpful for those who are all set to win the race. I hope you got the idea what I was trying to speak over here. Here are some tips to kickstart your confidence in solving the most important problem from eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So we are dealing with Cali Hamilton theorem and the statement here is every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. First of all, we have to find out the characteristic equation. So here is the problem, most important problem. So here the matrix A is given and asked to verify the Cali Hamilton theorem and hence find A inverse. So first of all, we need characteristic equation for that. The characteristic equation of A is the characteristic equation of A is modulus of A minus lambda I is equal to 0. So first of all, this is 2 minus lambda 1, 2. This is 5, 3 minus lambda 3. And this is minus 1, 0, minus 2 minus lambda is equal to 0. So I have to find out the characteristic equation for that C. So this is 2 minus lambda times of 2 minus lambda times of. Now I have to close this uh, row as well as this column. Then if I multiply, so this will be 3 minus lambda times of minus 2 minus lambda. And this is 0. And the next one here is 1. So this will be minus 1 times of. Now I am going to close this row and column. So this is 5 times of. This is 5 times of minus 2 minus lambda. And minus of minus plus 3. And the next one here is 2. So this one is 2. So this is 2 times of. Now I have to close this row and column. This is 0 minus of minus plus. This is 3 minus lambda is equal to 0. So now I have to make a characteristic equation that is 2 minus lambda times of if I multiply this is minus 6 minus 3 lambda and this is plus 2 lambda plus lambda square and this is minus if I multiply this is minus 10 minus 5 lambda plus 3 and this is 2 times of this is 3 minus lambda is equal to 0. See here, this is 2 minus lambda times of this is lambda square minus lambda minus 6 and this is minus. So, this will be minus 7 minus 5 lambda plus 3 2 is a 6 minus 2 lambda is equal to 0. So, if I multiply with 2, this is 2 times of lambda square minus lambda minus 6 and this is minus lambda times of lambda square minus lambda minus 6. And this will be minus of minus plus 7 and this is plus 5, 6 minus 2 lambda is equal to 0. So if I multiply with 2, see what happens here. This is 2 lambda square minus 2 lambda minus 12 and this is minus lambda cube plus lambda square plus this is a 6 lambda plus 7 plus 5 lambda plus 6 minus 2 lambda is equal to 0. And if you see, there is a single lambda cube here. So this is minus lambda cube and if I go with the lambda square, so this is this is uh, 3 lambda square. So this is plus 3 lambda square and if you see lambda, so this is minus 2 lambda and plus 6, this will be plus 4, plus 9, plus 2 and uh, minus 2, plus 4, 9, 7. So this is going to be plus 7 lambda, plus 7 lambda and what else remind here? Constants. So this is minus 12, plus 7, plus 6, 13 and this will be plus 1. So this will be plus 1 is equal to 0. So if you observe, if you multiply with negative sign, so this will be lambda cube. So this is lambda cube minus 3 lambda square minus 7 lambda minus 1 is equal to 0. So, what is here in the Callis Hamilton theorem? Every square matrix, every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. So, this is the characteristic equation. So, this is the characteristic equation and the square matrix should satisfy this one. So, this will be a cube. So, we have to prove that. So, we have to prove that a cube minus 3a square minus 7a minus 1 is equal to 0. So every square matrix should satisfy the characteristic equation. So this is the characteristic equation. And what is a here? So a is given as, so a is nothing but 2, 1, 2, 
this is 5, 3, 3 and minus 1, 0, minus 2. First, I have to calculate a square, then a cube and substitute in this equation. So, let's begin with a square. So, a square is nothing but a into a. That is 2, 1, 2. This is 5, 3, 3, minus 1, 0, minus 2. And again, this is 2, 1, 2. This is 5, 3, 3 and minus 1, 0. This is minus 2. So, this will be C. See, the value here is 2, 2, so this one is 4. This is 5, 1, so 5 and this is minus 2. So, this value is 2 plus 3 plus 0 and this value is 4 plus 3 and this is minus 4. And this is 5, 2, so 10 plus 3, 5, so 15 and this is minus 3. And 5, 1, so 5 plus 3, 3, so 9 plus 0. So, 5, 2, so 10 plus 3, 3 is a 9 and this is minus 6. So, this value is minus 2 plus 0 and this is 2 plus 2. So, this is minus 1 plus 0 and this is minus 0. So, this is minus 2 plus 0 and this is plus 4. So, if you observe this one, so a square will be, so a square value will be, so this is 9 minus 2, this is 7, this is 5. If I cancel this one, so what remains here? So this value is nothing but 3 and if you see 15 minus 3. So, so this is uh, 25 minus 3. This is 22 and this is 14 and this value is 3. So this is 13. This is 13 and if I cancel this the value is 0. This value is minus 1 and this value is plus 2. And after getting a square, so we have to calculate a cube. So, I need a cube also. So, a cube is nothing but a cube is nothing but a square into a. So, a cube is equal to what is a square here? This is 7, 5, 3. This is 22. This is 14, 13 and 0 minus 1, 2 into a again. So, a is nothing but our question that is 2, 1, 2. This is 5, 3, 3. So, this is 5, 3, 3 and minus 1, 0 minus 2. This is minus 1, 0, minus 2. So, now, so a cube value is also easy for us to calculate. So, this is nothing but 14 and this is 5, 5, zero. this is 25 and this is minus 3. So, if I multiply here, 7, 1 is 7, 5, 3 is 15 plus 0 and this is 14 and this one is 15 and this is minus 6. So, 20 to 2, sir, this one is 44 and uh, this is uh, 14, 7, sir, this is 70 and this is minus 13. And if you see 22 into 1 is 22 and 14, 3, is, this is a 42 and this one is 0. And if you see 22 into 2, this is 44 plus and this is 14, 3, sir, this is 42 and this one is minus 26. 0 into 2 is 0 and this is minus 5 and this is minus 2. 0 into 1 is 0. This is minus 3 and this is plus 0. 0 into 0 is 0. This is minus 3 and this is minus 4. So, this value is minus 4 and if you observe this one. So, a cube value is also very simple. That is uh, this one is 39 minus 3 which is equal to 36. And this is 22 and this value is a uh, this value is a uh, 23 this is 101 this is a 64 and this value if you observe this one is a 60 this one is a 60 and this is minus 7 this is minus 3 and again minus 7 so I got the values of a square see here so this is a cube and this is a square and this value is a now I am going to substitute and now I am going to verify Cali Hamilton theorem. So, what is there in Cali Hamilton theorem? We have to substitute a cube minus 3a square minus 7a minus 1 and we have to prove that its value is 0. So, what is a cube? So, a cube is very clear here that is so a cube value is nothing but see here this is 36, 22, this is 23, this is 101, 64, 60, minus 7, minus 3, minus 7. And this value is minus 3 times of a square. So, so this value is nothing but a square. So, a square is nothing but 7, 5, 3. 
and this is 22, this is 14, this is 13, 0, minus 1, 2 and this is minus 7 times of A. So, where is A? So, A is nothing but this is uh, 2, 1, 2. This is 5, 3, 3. This is minus 1, 0, minus 2. And this is minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. So, here everything is clear here. Now, I am going to write. So, this is 36, 22, 23. This is 101, 64, 60. And this is minus 7, minus 3, minus 7. So, if I multiply with minus, so this will be minus 21, minus 15, minus 9. So, this is minus 66. This is minus uh, 42. And this is minus 39. And 0, this is plus 3. And this is minus 6. And if I multiply with 7 inside, this will be minus 14, minus 7. And this is minus 14. This is minus 35. Minus 21. This is minus 21. This is plus 7, 0, 14. And if I send this one, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. So, now I have to add each and every term here. So, that is 36 minus 21 minus 14 minus 1. And the second term here is 22 minus 15 minus 7 plus 0. This is 23 minus 9 minus 14 plus 0. And if you see this is 101. So, this is 101 minus 66. This is minus 35 plus 0. And this is a 64 minus 42. This is minus 21 and this is minus 1. So, this value is a 60 minus 39 minus 21 plus 0. So, this is minus 7 plus 0 plus 7 plus 0. So, this is minus 3 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0. And this is minus 7 minus 6 plus 14. This is minus 1. If you observe... It is very, very clear that, so you can easily cancel this one. This is minus 36 plus 36 and this is also plus 22 minus 22. So, all the values here. So, you can use your calci and no problem. And see here, all the values I got are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, so I got a cube minus 3a square minus 7a minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is nothing but the characteristic equation. Therefore, every square matrix, see here, every, every square matrix satisfies, satisfies its own characteristic equation. Its own characteristic equation. So, So, this was satisfies. Hence, Cali hamilton theorem. Hence, Cali hamilton theorem. So, if any square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation, then we can say that Cali hamilton theorem is verified. Is verified. So, after getting this one, so we again we have to find out this inverse. So, again it was asked to find out inverse. So, verified Cali's Hamilton theorem and again we are going to solve uh, uh, for A inverse. So, for that it's very simple here. See here. So, it is very clear that A cube minus 3 A square minus 7 A minus 1 is equal to 0. So, every square matrix is satisfying its own characteristic equation according to the Cali Hamilton theorem. Now, I am going to multiply both sides with A inverse. So, here also some A inverse. A inverse into A inverse is equal to 0. So, if I multiply A inverse into A cube is nothing but A square. This will be A power 1. This is A into A inverse. So, which is nothing but the identity matrix minus A inverse is equal to 0. So, I need A inverse. So, I need this A inverse. So, A inverse will be, see here, A inverse is nothing but A square minus 3A minus 7I. So, this is our A inverse formula. So, according to our problem, A inverse is equal to. So, every value is ready here. What is A inverse? Just now I found that. A inverse is nothing but, so A square is nothing but, so the value here is 7, 5, 3. So, this is a 7, 5, 3. This is 22, 
22, 14, 13 and 0 minus 1, this is 2. Minus 3 times of A. So, where is A here? So, A is nothing but this is 2, 1, 2 and this is 5, 3, 3. Minus 1, 0, minus 2 and here minus 7 times of identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, this is 0, 0, 1. So, uh, again I have to find out the A inverse. So, A inverse is nothing but see here this is 7. This is minus 6 and this is minus 7. And this is 5 here and my, this is minus 3 and this is 0. And here the third element is 3 and this is minus 6. And this value is again 0. And if you see this is 22. And if I multiply, this is minus 15 and this is minus 0. So, here the middle one is 14 minus 3, 3 is a 9 and this one is minus 7. And this value is 13 minus 3, 3 is a 9 and this value is 0. So, this is 0, this is plus 3 and this is minus 0. So, this value is minus 1, this is minus 0 and this is minus 0. So, this value is 2 plus 6. And this is minus 7. So, I got A inverse value as. So, if you see here, the A inverse value is nothing but this 7 minus 7. So, if I cancel, this value is minus 6. And this value is 2. And this value is uh, minus 3. And 22 minus 15, this is a 7. And this value 16, this will be minus 2. And this value will be 4 plus 4. And this is 3. This is minus 1 and this value 8 minus 7. This is 1. So, this is how we have to calculate A inverse. So, this is how we have to calculate A inverse from this characteristic equation. So, we have to multiply A inverse on both sides. And again, we have to get this value as A inverse as A square minus 3A minus 7A. It depends upon the problem. And this is how we have to solve. So, this is so simple. First of all, we have to find out the characteristic equation. So, after finding this characteristic equation, so no need of roots at all. So, if it's an eigenvalues and eigenvectors, then we'll go for finding this eigenvalues. And now, we have to substitute the value of A. So, here it is lambda cube. We have to substitute A cube. In place of lambda square, we have to place A square. And in place of lambda, we have to keep A. For that, A is ready. A square and A cube, we have to multiply. And if I substitute, the value is very clear that I got zero zeros. Zeros. And hence, every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation and ca hence Scalise Hamilton theorem is verified. And after this verification part, we have to multiply both sides with A's inverse. So that I will be getting the value of A inverse and after substituting all the values, so I got this A inverse. So this is how we have to solve. I really tried hard to bring it across to you and I am sure that you must have understood well. And thank you. I am profoundly grateful for all my viewers for pulling out all your time and attention. I will be uploading many more videos in this series. Have a look at those. If you really like, you know what to do. Please subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends because they also need it. Thank you so much.